Okay. So, uh, hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm Kevin from Kevin from MC and what I have in front of me is a little in the star. Let me go show you. In the star 50. This is not, not in the like super pristine condition I wished it should have come. So, what I'm gonna do is set this thing to f8 go nice it's pretty dark let's see okay then let's start the tear it down so now focus okay so I'm gonna start with I mean I have never seen anything about the in the start on the internet so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do Something I do pretty well, which is tear this thing apart without any guidelines. Now I'm gonna have a piece of paper to guide me, and I'm also gonna go have this camera recording so I can actually remember every single thing I do. So I'm gonna go take my small piece of paper, not a huge one. <clears throat> then let me go start with taking out the front ring. This thing is a back. Might, but I'm not very sure. So, I'm gonna try the front first. This thing seems like scratches, but I'm not very sure. The seller said that that was what you call this thing. He said this is dust inside, so I'm not very sure about what the heck he's saying. But I'm just gonna try it anyway. So, I'm gonna open this thing up. This in theory should free the front optical block. So, I'm gonna do this. Can I not find a piece of tissue again? <clears throat> nice, let me go take a little bit of the Okay, got my LTM body cap. I mean, what's all this thing? Lens cap. So, putting that thing on. Oh, this is tightening. So, now this is the most front optical group. Oh. This is pretty disgusting, I'd say. And I'm not even sure that this thing is dust. So, let's see. Um, then let's open this front group up to see what's inside. The rear group looks pretty clean, but I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna have to take that thing apart also. Okay, then twist. And later I'm gonna go polish this body if it actually looks out alright. So let me take a microfiber cloth. Okay. Seems like this piece of glass is pretty disgusting. Let me go wash this is soap. Actually let me go keep this thing. This ring. This optic also looks pretty disgusting. And now I have this. So, the blades look pretty oily. Let's see if I can actually fix that. Or if that thing's an issue that cannot be fixed until I tear the whole assembly out. So, let me take some acetone. Let me see how many hours of recording I have. Okay, nice. Then let's wipe this stuff along the blades that does not seem like oil but I'm not very sure yeah that's signs of wear so okay
And take note, this thing's the red P version, so they should be better than the other versions. Then let me take the body cap off and see what I have. So my body cap is a little smooth there. Let's see. The rear group is it's got some fog. Not really fog, I'd say um light fungi on the sides. So let me go take this group out if I can. Oh shit, what the heck's that? The focus is so jumpy, guys. Let me try and take the This I use for grip because it has these like small ribs on it. So I'm gonna go grip this. Then let me go take the front rings out. <coughs> let me go find my my what you call this thing? My small screwdriver. I think it might be this one. Let's see. Yeah, it should be this one. So this you wanna set this thing at infinity. There you go infinity. Once you set infinity, you wanna I'll put the mark on here so I don't forget. Okay, that's infinity. You can take this thing off with gas easily, so I'm not really worried about like marking the lens forever. It kind of screws this one. It's like so dusty and spiderwebby. Seems like it's not gonna come out, but I'm gonna try anyways. Funny out. This thing's got this like disgusting white residue on the sides. Might be dust, might be something else. Let me go find a small container for put this thing in. Go in here. Like I usually do. This is so disgusting man. Let's take some aston. Clean the hole up. Next. so hard to do. Let me take some gloves. My fingers like dying already. Okay, my A7S battery is also dying, so let me go change this thing out. Okay, so this battery is also almost dead, but I don't really care, so let me go continue with this. Let me go take my glove off. <clears throat> And to be honest, I have not opened it in the star before this, so this is like my first experience with in the stars. Shit, this thing's not coming out. The heck's that thing one, man? Nico, try this one. Bullshit. I broke my. Screwdriver. Awesome. Okay, slow size in the stars not fixable, I'd say. How the heck is this impossible, man? This is not fixable. To any stretch of the imagination, like what the heck is wrong with this thing, man? Screwdriver is died, man. Like, literally folded in half. I'm not sure how I'm gonna salvage this, but um, okay. Let's try bend it back so I can at least put the one screw in.
And so on that, I think I should try to attempt the back helicoid if it's possible. And the back of this thing, if it's possible. If it's not, then it's done for it. So <coughs> let's see. This seems impossible. Let's try and take the lower screws and see what they do. And screwdriver actually still works. Such a surprise. So, this is me taking off the LTM mount <coughs> on this inner star. How's this screw so long? Okay, hello, welcome back everyone. Today I just ran out of battery, so this is me coming back. Now I just took out this front, I mean the rear optical group. If you just watched, I used a. Uh, what did I just use? I used my cutter to like twist the inside of this thing and release this optical block. <coughs> so this is essentially three and four optics in three groups. First. So this is the first optical group, first optical bit, second optic, second group, third and fourth optic, third group. So these things are in one. <coughs> I gotta work in one. And let me say this thing's not in pristine condition. But let's just see what I'm gonna get. So these three. This thing has fungi. This thing probably has some fungi also, which I can see at least. Then this has like disgusting scratches everywhere. And this focus helicoid turns like stiff as frick. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I might find a way to like lubricate this thing from the outside. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna go turn this thing off and go, what's call this thing? Washing the optics in soap. So, bye bye. Okay, hello and welcome back. So, I've just finished washing my lenses. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe all of them out. This first optical block looks, I mean this first optical piece looks really dirty and muddy essentially. Which is obviously the good thing because it's in quite a rough life being like this. Okay, so let's see. This might or might not be fixable to me. See, I don't think it is, but okay, I'm gonna use it as is. Then, the second group. Stick this thing. Let's take the second optic, I mean the first optic. Put this in, put the front lock ring in. Just as intended. Then let's see. It's so super muddy. Then this group <coughs> sits in the back, so should be a bit better. Let's put this thing back in, if even possible. It's 
So it's gonna go out, I mean go in the way it went out. So either by dropping or by sticking it in something. Now choose the way you stick it. There you go. Then now I'll need to screw this thing in. Next one, this thing. Mm. Hmm. The thing's not sitting in properly. Inside this, it now I can actually see two small nibblets down there. I think those are like what you use to take the whole optics out. I mean, hold the whole block out. So I think I might take this optic out and try using some some jolly things, some comp one compass or something like that to like take this thing out. Should I try to do that or try lubricate it from the bottom? Let's see. I think goes up to here, which means that it goes up to about here. This means that this thing is getting something here. If I move the focus to infinity, where will it hit? It's about here. That means I'm hitting helicoid. So, this might be doable, but let's see. The nipple approach looks better for me at least. So, let's try and do it. Which way should you turn? I think you should turn it to the right. No. Let's take some what you call those things. Come, come. Let me go take a compass and come back here. Okay, welcome back. So today, uh, I have this, which is a small. Compass and what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna find something to touch this front bit on to. So this thing usually has a pencil on it. See, pencil. What I'm gonna use is this thing. Should go on like that. Doesn't work.
Okay, so I'm gonna find something more standard. Let's see, how about let's take this Q tip and cut it by like a little bit. Probably also do this. Smash it in. This is not very tight but at least it works. With I think I'm gonna have to like put this pencil in so I'm gonna so I can actually test out the <coughs> the climbing force after I bent the thing. It's actually okay, so I haven't broken my calipers. I'm gonna call this thing. I haven't broken my compass. So let's find scissors. Cut this thing with I think it's this one, yeah, okay, nice. Then put this thing in. Now I can tighten this thing back down. Let's flip this one so you don't like bend a needle edge. There you go. Now you have a lens tool. And doesn't fit. Nice. How the heck am I gonna open this bit? So, I think the next thing I can do is use this thing. Oh man. Okay, I think I'm gonna just crease this thing back manually. And so for now, let's just put this thing back in. My battery is time, gonna go switch batteries, so wait for a while. Okay, I'm back, and now let's stop this. And scratch the optic down there. Then we focus in. This drop actually disappears, I'd say. See? So we go focus out fully. Then let's see. Wait. Yeah, I think we should focus out. Put some small mouth.